I want to share with you guys a couple tools I have that I use to uh, when I'm doing certain types of plumbing or HVAC or I want to make connections with copper tubing and I have some tools that I can make what you call swedge fittings where it will ex expand the end of the pipe like so and it allows you to slip it in like so without having to buy any fittings or whatnot. So then you can solder or braze depending on what type of application you're doing. This here is a manual swedge. This one's kind of the hardest one to use. But the way this works is you shove it in and you put it in like a vise or something to hold this. Usually I'll show you the tool I use to hold it. It's the same one I use for flaring, but um, you could hold in your hand, but it's, it's kind of hard to do. You just stick it in, and you get, use a hammer, and you smack a hammer on it, and it drives this thing down. I've owned this for a long time, but I, I rarely use this one. Uh, the one I use the most is my yellow jacket. This, this is actually called a tube expander. The way this works is into the tube like so. Stick it in there, bottom it out, and just expand it a little bit, kind of slow down, open it back up, give it a little turn, a little more, a little more, give it a little turn, but as you can see it works pretty good, I just give it a turn, do it a few times, as you can see that worked pretty good. You just stick your pipe in the end like that and then you and you just grab your pliers and kind of pull it up, pull it. Change the size of pipe you're using. Uh, you open it up and you can unscrew this. And it comes in a kit. You can buy these and they, you know, they look like that. They just slip on. There's different sizes. This one works for 3 8 but they go all the way up to, you know, one inch or more. Now, the one I, the one I use a lot is this kit here, which is my kit that does both it's a uh, actual, this is a swedging and a flaring kit. Um, this will flare tubing, so you could use like a flaring nut and actually make connections where you can thread them together using this side. That's threading. I mean, I'm sorry, that's flaring. So, <coughs> I'll make a flare fitting and show you guys how to do that. Um, You just uh, open this up, open this up, this goes into the, th there's actually a uh, concave side and a flat side, I'm using the, I'm doing the flare, use the concave side, you want it to stick up about, oh about thickness of a nickel or so sticking out and you tighten this down loosen this side up tighten this down oops tighten this down and tighten this side down Take this flaring tool you can see how this bar fits on here I gotta loosen a little more 
Okay, like that. Fits in there. And you just tighten this down and wrench on it. Wrench on it. And you just keep wrenching on it until it bottoms down. Like that. Take it out. And that makes you can see that makes a flare fitting for flare fittings. You gotta slip a nut on, and then this part screws on to a fitting, and you just tighten it up. That's a flare fitting. Now to make a swage fitting with this kit, you. Do the same thing here. You leave yourself a little bit of a uh, little bit of gap sticking up, not that far or so, about like that, maybe in half an inch or so, and tighten this part down. Tighten this part down. Now I'm gonna set this here. Now to do a swedge fitting with this, I got to. I gotta put my swedge on there. Depending on what size you want to do, uh, you have different. These are different size swedges. The size I'm using is this side. As you notice, this is very similar to this tool. Very similar. But this part just screws on. back this out all the way and hold this in your hand this slides in like so and now you're ready to just tighten this down and this will press it in to about there. Now you're done. You back it out. Loosen this up. That's how you do a swedge, swedge thing. Some people call it swedge, swedge, swedge. But as you can see, fitting here now, and I wouldn't have to buy any fittings. I could I could solder that, make it work, save a little money buying connections and whatnot. Another tool I like to use is this tubing bender. I'll show you how this works. It's pretty simple. You can just stick a tube in there. There's different sizes quarter inch, uh, you know, three eighths, it's probably five sixteenths, and they make different size of these, but if you want to do a 90 degree bend, you just stick your pipe in there, like so, like that, and then you can bend it to whatever degree you want, that's a 90, or I could keep going, and bend to 180. You just watch that gauge, you know. And 
that'd be a 180. I'll do that one more time just to show you. And sometimes you gotta just get some and smack it out a little bit. That'd be a, like a 180. Or, you know, I could put that in. Do it back here closer if you guys can see it. But I could bend it down. That's like a 45 degree. I'll do a 90. And then, you know, just take it out. That'd be a 90 degree bend. So these are some handy tools to use just to show you guys.